The pandemic is impacting small businesses nationwide. Here's what the Census Bureau told us back in June. 38% of small businesses report COVID-19 negatively impacted their business in a big way. 45% say it's had a moderate negative effect. And the National Small Business Association says 99% of small businesses are very or somewhat worried about what's next. Brady Brewster is working for you to see how Montana's small businesses are holding up. Thriving, surviving, and some dying. Honestly, it is not going well. COVID-19 is treating small Montana businesses differently. Outdoor businesses thriving. People are, are getting out on the water and, and doing outdoor recreation like we've never seen before. Restaurants and breweries surviving. We're just trying to hang on. Tim O'Leary, owner of Kettle House Brewing, was forced to permanently shut the doors of one of his three Missoula tap rooms. Uh, if you can't make a dollar at 100% capacity, how are you going to make a dollar at 50%? He says the north side location was struggling but looking to make a comeback. But with new COVID-19 restrictions, it was better to close it for good. Year over year, we're, we're at, at times down 45%. According to a poll by Small Business Majority, 46% of small businesses expect to close for good by the end of the year. But co-owner of Imagination Brewing insists her brewery won't be one of them. And making sure that, you know, we keep ourselves well. She says she once thought they might close their business. I had to lay off most of our taproom staff at that time. So that was the first step and the hardest step. But instead, they adapted. She says they'd purchased a canning machine a year before. To ensure public safety and the well-being of their business, they made the switch to selling only canned beer. We started realizing, it's like, no, this is going to work. Like, we, can, we can make this work. The owners say that sales aren't bad on all fronts. Obviously down for taproom visits and draft sales, but higher than normal for canned sales, which helps balance out the numbers a bit. People's buying patterns have shifted and we don't know as an industry when they will shift back. Another industry with shifting patterns, the one that's thriving. Outdoor recreation reported a huge boom this season. We're thrilled, of course. After missing the start of their fly fishing season, Blackfoot River Outfitters made a huge comeback. We're not going to exceed any you know, years past for sure, but you know, we certainly aren't down where we thought we might be back in March and April. Rogland says floods of people want to fish with them, but many want to do it themselves too. Sales for boats and beginner fishing suits increased substantially, and in the middle of their boom, they opened a new location too. Any new business endeavor, you know, that's a, a big risk already, so then we have a pandemic. The Missoula Downtown Partnership says nine downtown businesses closed this year, with Kettle House being the only one linked to COVID-19. But 17 new businesses opened downtown. National polls reflect increased business license requests during the pandemic, but why is still a question. The thing we know for sure, these businesses want to keep their doors open. They want you to mask up, shop small, and be smart and encourage other small business owners to keep their heads high. In Missoula, Brady Brewster, NBC Montana. New at 10 o'clock.